all right you know you have done your first um bybit verification and you have been finding it difficult to do the second uh verification which is the advanced and the highest form of verification you can do on bybit the reason could be because you are not submitting the right document or you are not submitting uh a document that contains your name you know for for instance those of you uh in nigeria if you want to pay your your bill maybe your nepa bill with that you can use for address verification uh those some of those bills don't contain your name because maybe you are living in a public compound and you are not the owner of the compound so the name on the bill may not contain your name so when you want to submit such bills or such um, uh, means of verification they will not accept it because the name they will be seeing there will be different from your name all right and also if you are submitting screenshots and other um documents that may not necessarily be accepted by bybit they will not accept your verification so in this video i'm going to show you the best way to do your verification your advanced verification on bybit and it will get accepted i've already shown you how to do uh, the first form of verification which you can do using your bvn or your national id card so in this video i'm going to show you how to do your advanced verification on bybit so that it will be accepted let's go straight to it I tried doing verification on my Bybit account for advanced verification. Okay, so when you open it, just go to verified ID, open it. So I tried doing verification before and it was rejected, right? They said that uh, they did not accept the document I submitted. And the reason was because I submitted a NEPA bill. Yes, the address was correct, but it doesn't contain my name. So like I said before, if the uh, means of verification you submit does not contain your name uh, they may not accept it but i actually used another method to do it and it was accepted right so before i i show you the method i use you can see that it is now advanced so uh i have done the level two verification which is the highest form of verification i can do here or right, i say you see congratulations you've completed all the steps so that is it now what did i do uh, first thing you need to read the requirement all right so only the following document type will be accepted as a proof of address bank statement utility bills internet cable tv phone line bills tax returns council tax bills government issued certificates of residence all right so you can choose any of these means of um, verification as a nigerian you can easily uh, get your um, bank statement and use it you can also um, you know pay bill cable tv subscription if that contains your name your address because i don't i don't know uh, how you will pay your cable subscription and it will contain your address for for those in nigeria all right so after you've read this once you click it will take you uh, to this page after you've read it just click on next all right so once you click next it will then uh, take you to this page all right so see what they say that they don't accept they say we don't accept screenshots all right so even if the means of verification uh, is good but it is a screenshot they may not accept it uh, mobile phone bills i don't know what that is medical bills they don't accept it receipt for purchases the receipt used to buy something they don't accept it insurance statement so whatever it is even if you are submitting the right document but you you took a screenshot of it they may not accept it so um make sure that you get all the um you you have the required document now let me show you how to get uh your bank statement if you are using all these um uh banks like all these online banks like opay pampe you can easily get your uh bill your your statement of account right so let me show you how i did mine that i got verified so i i actually got went to my opay account all right so let's go to op all right so when you get your op you can do this in your mobile app or any bank app you are using they, they can easily send you your statement of account to your email and it will contain your name right so just click on the transaction history so when you click on the transaction history um you will see the option to download all right so when you click on download it will show your address right okay it will show your address 
so you can also edit your address here all right if you want so after you've edited and all that make sure that you tick on this address shown on statement so tick on it like this all right uh -huh. so make sure you tick you tick on it so after which you just tap on you can choose how many months you want the statement of account so for this purpose we just we just need something short so it could be just one page all right so you choose the date and then tap on continue all right so uh the statement will be sent to your email so they will yeah they will show your email all right so just tap on noted then click on send uh, statement so after you send the statement all you need to do is go to your email so let's go to email and all right so you can see the email from op here so when you click on it that is your statement of account so all you need to do is just download it all right after you've downloaded it you see your address and your name on the statement of account then go to your uh go to uh your buy bit upload it and then tap on next after after a few minutes your verification will be completed so that is the simplest way to get your account verified feel free to subscribe to my channel and join our trading group to learn more about crypto trading thank you